today I have a NYX haul to share with you. My sister-in-law highly suggested that I try out their lip pencils. Well, in the midst of ordering their lip pencils, I decided to try a few other products that I'm excited to share with you today. I purchased these items from a few different sources. Some of these items were purchased from a local drugstore, I believe it was Walgreens. Some items were purchased from either Walmart or Target. Other items I purchased online and a handful of items I purchased from Ulta. So with that said, the first product that I'm sharing with you from the haul is this eyeshadow palette. I love neutral sort of earth tone colors. I wear colors like this all year round. So I thought this was really pretty and a palette that I think I will get good use out of. I really love this brown and it's good to have these dark shades as well for smoky eye looks. And I thought this color here was really pretty as well. Yeah, I thought this was really nice. And I haven't used, I haven't tried the NYX eyeshadow, but I just thought that was pretty and it looked like it would um, really work out well. All right, the next item that I have is this NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. Look at that red. I just thought that was pretty. I'm gonna swatch it. I haven't used any of these products yet. So I am excited to try them out. Look at this. Pretty. Let's see. A little sw Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> That looks so pretty. Okay, so the next item I have here is the super skinny eye marker. The super skinny eye marker. I'm going to open this. I've been waiting and waiting because I didn't want to try these until I show them to you because I just like doing the hauls, but I'm excited to get into this. Okay, so this is um, Carbon Black. Let's see what it, ooh, la la la. It's like a nice eyeliner pencil, really nice. I've been using gel eyeliner and not so much the liquid eyeliner, but super skinny eye marks. So this will probably be good to do like a cat eye. I haven't been doing cat eyes lately. Um, and it looks like that. Okay, so the next item that I have is this simply nude. That's lip a nice cream. sort of a nude color. If you can see it, it looks really nice. Excited to try that out. Okay, and these items I purchased online because I couldn't find them in the stores. And these are lip pencils, lip liner pencils that my sister-in-law suggested that I try and I ordered six of them. Right now I usually use my MAC lip liner pencils. I have three lip liners from MAC. I have a few other um, lip liner pencils that I purchased from I think Marshalls and maybe a few drugstore ones, but I just, I haven't used them. Um, but she really said that these were really good, inexpensive quality lip liners. So these are the shades that I purchased. And I figured these would go with most of the lip colors that I have. Um, I can read these shades out to you quickly. I'm gonna turn them around so I can see them. This is Coffee Dark Brown Earth Tone. This one is, what is this one? Espresso, I'm sorry, Espresso. This one is Soft Brown and this is Brown Cafe. So again, there are some neutral colors there. And then I have, like I said, some MAC colors. I have uh, Ruby Woo, I think, in red. So I think with those three and these, I should be covered with um, <laughs> adequate lip liner colors. But let's see, maybe I can swatch one. Let's swatch, let's swatch this one because it's darker so it may show up better. Okay, let's, let's adjust see if we my can light. Swatch this one. Oh, it's pretty nice. Feels creamy and the tip feels pretty comfortable on the skin. Pretty. So I'm excited to try those out. And I have another lipstick here. This is a matte lipstick, and this is in the shade Perfect Red. And can you see that in there? V. 
very pretty. I think I'm going to open this one too, just so we can get a better look at it. Um, I guess I was into the reds. I'm always into the reds though. I have a video that I'll um, link in the description box um, for a video that I did with my, um, it was a video about my favorite red lipsticks because I have quite a few, and red was a shade that I I didn't always wear. I didn't start wearing red until a few years ago um, when I started watching YouTube videos, and I started seeing all of these um, videos and people wearing red lipsticks, and I thought it was really pretty, and I never thought it was really a shade that I could pull off. And even now, it's a shade that... Um, I only wear when I feel, have to be in a certain mood to wear it, but when I'm in the mood to wear red, love red, and um, you know, you can't just have one red, you have different shades of red, and this is a beautiful red, look at that, let's swatch this too, ooh, see that's different from that, that one looks a lot um, more rich, that is pretty as well. Ah, nice. Excited to try that one. But yeah, I used to um I used to only wear gloss. I didn't even wear lipstick. I just felt like it was just too bold and too much. Um but lately, the last couple of years, I love actual lipstick. All right, so what do I have next? I have this Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator and this says it is a lightweight Liquid illuminator that gives skin a refreshed glow and beautiful highlight. And I did not order this. Um, I purchased this, I think, at Target. So I just thought this sounded interesting. And I was really just interested in just trying a variety of products from NYX. And so this seems like it would be a really good um, product to use in the summer. Just to have... Um, an extra glow, if you will. So I'm interested to see if this will um, work on my skin tone. Okay, a few more items here. This is powder blush. Another thing that I like to wear is blush. I have my favorite that I go to 99.9% .9 of the time, but I do have a few others that I will um, switch to from time to time. And I thought this looked like a nice shade that would be pretty on my skin tone. This is the in the shade Cinnamon. Really pretty. Okay, um, here I have some glosses and I selected some glosses that I think might look good on um, top of some of the lipsticks that I have. I have three lip glosses here. This one is actually called a lip cream. It's Extreme Shine lip cream in color dolly girl and i have some shades it's showing up a little brighter than it actually is it's a little more toned down um, i think when i look at it directly but i do have some pinks that i like to wear in the summer and then i like these kind of colors um these type of glosses to wear on days when I'm not wearing lipstick and it does like the lipstick I'm the gloss that I'm wearing today that give my lips some shine but a little more of a natural toned down look but it still gives my lips some tint this will do looks like it'll do more than give me a tint but I think it's a really pretty color particularly over certain lipsticks depending on the texture of this lip cream and I haven't worn their lip glosses or lip creams before so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying it out and see how I like it. This next one is Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Cookie Butter. That is pretty. And it's showing up a little brighter than it actually is, but it is really pretty. And I think this would, it looks like it would be a great color again on its own for a day when I want to be more toned down or if I'm in a hurry and I just want to throw on a lip gloss. This looks like it would be really pretty. But it also looks like it would be nice over some of my, um, maybe a brown lipstick color or something just to help to um, brighten like a brown lipstick color. That is pretty nice and neutral tone. And the third one here is Extra Shine Lip Cream in the color Spicy. 
And this one is a little more on the red side. Very pretty. I'm not sure, again, how pigmented these are, but I am going to definitely find out. Okay, this is the last item. This is a lipstick. This is a matte lipstick in the shade Butter. And let's have a look at this. This one I opened. Look at that. Nice and neutral shade. I'm going to swatch this one. See if we can see it. Oh, kind of frosty. Looks pretty. I bet this would be pretty with the, um, can you see it? I bet that would be pretty with the lip, with the, um, lip cream. These two would probably be pretty together with a um, lip liner, maybe, what do you think? Which lip liner? Maybe this one or this one, that one, maybe even this one. That would be too dark, but maybe one of these three with these, with this lipstick and lip gloss might be pretty. Uh, well, I am excited to try these out. And again, if any of them become favorites, and I'm hoping that all of them will, <laughs> I will definitely share them with you in an upcoming video. I haven't forgotten about the Dollar Tree haul with all of those um, Dollar Tree beauty products that I purchased. I haven't forgotten about um, putting, um, sharing with you how those products work out. Um, I actually recorded that video in this room. If you remember, I'll, if you didn't see it, I'll leave it in the description box below. But it was basically a Dollar Tree beauty haul and I had a ton of beauty products that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I haven't used them yet. I'm going, going to do like a first impressions video with those products that should be coming up very soon where I think I'm what I think I'm going to do is try um show you how I'm well show you the application of each item and then wear the product all day and then come back at the end of the day and see how it holds up and kind of give you a quick um first impression of how those products how they work so that is my plan so look out for that video and this wraps up I had everything in my Ulta bag this wraps up my um NYX <laughs> haul I hope that you have enjoyed this video it was a ton of fun sharing these items with you I really enjoy um, kicking back and recording these videos with you and then interacting with you afterwards it's really a lot of fun so I just want to say thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Have a happy, happy, blessed day. Be happy, live full, love life, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.